when the crash hits, everything is going to change. Our whole world is going to be turned upside down if you're not prepared. Wholesale inflation rose 11.3% in June over the last year. All right? Regular inflation hit a 9.1%, which blew all the market analysts and everybody took them all by surprise. It's a 40-year high since November of, what, 1980? Somewhere around there. Listen, folks. There's reasons why you really have to be prepared. And this is one of them. This is something that is brewing within our country right now. And things are going the opposite direction that they need to go. Gas prices were a huge part of the whole in inflation rates. You being so high, 11.3, 9.1. And we all know the gas prices have started to come down. But, you know, I mean, they go up really quick, but they come down really, really slow. So you still have certain parts of the country that was paying well over $5 a gallon. Here in Florida, we're getting down around. Um, there has been a few stations where it's ah, $3.99 to about $4.20 in that area. That's about what I see, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, we never broke, at least in my area, we never broke the $5 mark. We got really close, but we never broke it um, before the prices and started to come down from their historical highs. Um, when this crash really hits a lot of Americans, um, it's going to be really ugly. The number of uh, homeless people in this country right now is estimated at about 552,000 people. And that's about a, around about a half a million individuals living in a state of homelessness. They have no place to go. You know, things are not looking real good for them. And as all these prices and everything keep rising, uh, those numbers are going to keep increasingly going up. Um, with no end in sight, these folks have no hope. Um, also, according to the USDA, there's more than 38 million people in our country, including 12 million children in the United States that are going hungry with little or no food every day. And this should not be happening. This is why I don't, I don't believe that we should be sending anything out of this country to take care of all these other people and everything else until we take care of our own. At least make some effort towards it. You know? I mean, it just seems like the government just is turning a blind eye to what, it, the, what the facts are here in this country. What is really taking place. You know, I mean, these these politicians are are not helping out the situation at all here, folks. And they're just it's just making a bad situation. Um, the United Nations, um, the World Food Program, they got a big warning that came out. Uh, they're calling it a global emergency. And they're saying a number of people are, are basically food insecure has nearly tripled since 2019 to 345 million people. The agency which provides food relief for that many people requires a staggering $22 billion to meet the emergency needs of just 2022 to try to feed these people. They face major 
funding gaps because of soaring prices on basic commodities worldwide, um, gas prices, fuel prices, the cost of food, the cost of growing food. It's all a ripple effect and it is affecting everybody in this whole country. In 2022, the food prices are expected to rise again by the end of this year and be somewhere in the neighborhood between eight and a half to nine and a half percent. If you want to order out, that's going to be running you between six and seven percent more than what you are paying right now. Listen, folks, we really, really have to get back to the basics, all right? Because when the crash hits, when all this comes tumbling down, and the government keeps saying, we're fine, nothing's going to happen, there's going to be no recession, everything's going to be fine, you know, and all these people believe them, and they're not prepped, and they're not ready, then it is a very bad situation we are putting ourselves in, and that we're putting our families in on a daily basis. People are working and the amount of money that they are making is not even paying their bills now. People are being evicted from their apartments. People are being evicted from their homes. Their homes are being foreclosed. People's cars are being repossessed. Because people are having to make the hard choices of, do I pay this bill or do I put food on the table? And it's only going to get worse. If we go into a recession, it's going to get a lot worse because more than likely then you're going to have a lot of companies that do layoffs. The companies might close completely. In which case, you have you know, thousands and thousands of workers that could be out of a job. And for what? Because we don't want to be proactive and try to come up with a plan now because it doesn't meet their political agenda. Us American people here are paying the price. They're still eating caviar in Washington while kids are scrounging for whatever they can find to eat. Think about that. So prepare as much as you possibly can before you cannot prepare anymore. Because when the crash comes, you're not going to get a warning. You're going to get a real hard hit in the head of what do I do now? Because I didn't prepare. Just saying, folks. Ball's in your court. Get out there. Start prepping. Put away whatever you can. Whatever you can afford to do, do it. And this way here, you and your family will hopefully be safe and be able to ride the storm out whenever it comes rolling through town. Which, more than likely, is going to be sooner than later. I think a lot sooner than what a lot of these people predict just by what's going on in this country. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video. Please hit the like button. Hit share. Subscribe. And you know what folks. I'll catch you all. On the flip side.